So where, how did you get into hill climb? Because I think you used to do road racing, but now it's, is it all hill climbs or do you still do a bit of road racing? Um, no, so yeah, I, I sort of got into cycling pretty late. I did a lot of sports earlier on in sort of my life. And uh, yeah, so I got into cycling probably around late 20s, around 27. Um, and um, I did sort of four years of road racing. Um, and yeah, I, I did quite well. So I sort of, I, within a year, I sort of held an elite license and I held an elite license for three years, um, sort of picking the hillier circuits basically. Um, because yeah, I, you know, I, I could see that my strengths were really on, on the climbs. Um, and then I sort of finished with the road racing in 2017 um, and then decided just to specifically focus on hill climbing. Um, just sort of, yeah, I could see that was, was, was one of my strengths really. So, um, I did my first hill climb season back in 2017 on a pretty heavy eight kilogram bike, although that doesn't sound um, that, that heavy, but I suppose in hill climb terms, that's quite heavy. Um, and um, yeah, I did my sort of first nationals and finished just outside the top 10, I think I was 12th. Um, and um, yeah, I, 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 did, I seemed to do quite well on the other ones um, and then decided from that point on really, I was just gonna be specifically doing um, hill climbs and did yeah went into 2018 and did I think I did 15 races in 2018 and won 12 and um, obviously I, I won the nationals in, in 2018 and I was quite I suppose in 2018 I was an underdog really so it's quite nice that not many people knew of me and um, I was kind of able to to sneak through and uh, and, uh, and and get the victory at the end really um, and then I suppose, yeah, 2019, I, was, I had exactly the same results. Actually, I did 15 races and won 12. Um, and um, I didn't do as well on the nationals. It was slightly, it was quite a shallow, a shallow climb. I, I like the longer climbs, but I don't like it where the, the gradient's quite shallow because it's kind of the almost sort of version of TT territory where you have to be seated and my seated power is not as, not as good as when I'm, when I'm, when I'm standing up. Um, yeah and uh, yeah so yeah 2019 again I did 15 races but it did better I, I won one or 15 so um, yeah that's that's the kind of yeah my my yeah course really I suppose so um this year you started hill climbs so early I wonder like how do you keep the momentum going because I feel like most people do maybe you know start mid-September and go to October and feel burnt out but you were smashing them in like August yeah, I don't know. I really, I, I kind of do the same training all the way through the year. I don't really do anything. I suppose, yeah, I do. I'm doing a few more specific efforts during the hill climb season, but and being a bit more careful what I eat. But um, for the rest of the year, I just enjoy. I sort of use Strava as like a tool of um, comparing myself to other people. And um, so, yeah, on a typical ride, I'll go out and do a few efforts anyway. So there's nothing really that different. Um, and yeah, it's not. Because because they're such short efforts, really, it's not it's not it's not too it's not too taxing. I mean, the most taxing bit is you know is is all the traveling really and, and going up and down the country really, which is yeah that's quite intense. But the actual cycling side of things are is isn't is not as bad as you think, I suppose. Um, you know, I, I I love going out and exploring new roads once I've done the uh, once I've done a climb or you know going to new areas. So yeah so how do you choose your hill climbs because i feel like you do like never really the same ones every year it seems to be quite different like this one were you targeting specifically short ones or just ones that you wanted to win um i like doing new ones so i find doing i find doing hill climbs um should be doing the same course over and over again it's quite hard um so um yeah i like finding new climbs new hill climbs <laughs> i've obviously done three years now so it's quite difficult to find new courses especially local ones, you know, it's, um, you, you've got, you've got to travel further afield really. So I did something in Yorkshire, which I'd not done before. And, um, uh, I went up to the Lake District and things like that. So, uh, yeah, just, just doing new clients really. Um, I have to look at the calendar once it's, once it comes out for next year to see if there's any, any new courses I can do, but, um, I'll probably, yeah, running out soon because I've done quite a few years so. Yeah. So would you say there's a perfect climb for you? Is there one that like, you know, stands out and you think that suits me down to the ground? Yeah, I, I, I'd say anything between, I don't know, my three and six minutes. Um, yeah, the, the sort of, you know, the pure, 
a hard, steep sort of five minute climb I'd love. Um, yeah. It hasn't been in the last couple of years and like this year I was sort of skeptical of my chances because it's such a short climb and the margins would be so small and it can go anyone's way. Obviously I was, you know, I did well and I was, you know, lucky to get the win, but you know, it's, you haven't got much of a buffer basically if, uh, <laughs> if something yeah. goes wrong. Uh, whereas on the slightly longer climbs, um, yeah, you, you can sort of, you maybe be able to build in and you can also take out the, the sprinters basically who are almost able to hold on for a two minute climb. Um, so yeah, no, it would be good to see. And I know, I know there's rumours next year, possibly winning. Yeah. Or so possibly Man. Uh, yeah, that'd be great because both of those are, are brilliant climbs. Um, I've done Man Nick as a hill climb. Um, I've done Winnets as just on an ordinary training ride and they're both really great, great climbs. So yeah we'll see see what happens yeah yeah i'm hoping greater. i'm hoping for a long one as well i've had enough of these two minute climbs um yeah so it's, it's a shame because, yeah because i mean you know you've got so many iconic amazing climbs in the uk like i was up in the lake districts at the end of september and oh, just so many hard really amazing climbs like i did hard north i did wind race i did honister um and um oh, to have a national hill climb in one of those would just be immense um, yeah um and you would literally find the best climb in the country, whoever wins that, basically. And it could be myself, it could be someone else, I don't know, whoever performs on the day, basically. But th those are pure, pure climbs, basically. Whereas, you know, the, the two-minute climb, like I won on Sunday, it, it could be won by a sprinter. Um, and yeah. a, a really long, shallow climb could be run by someone who's really good at TT. So it's just, yeah, I think, it, you know, the hill, the hill, it would be great to see it on a real proper hard climb. Um, but yeah, well, well, you know, next year might 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 possibly be that. So we'll see. So this year, I saw you didn't do the like preview event um, of the nationals. Did you do any like recon of it or just turn up on the day? Yeah, no, I did, yeah, I did quite. I went up for two days just to do recce's on it, really. So um, um, yeah, didn't didn't put it public on Strava because I, you know, <laughs> I didn't really want people tapping in and saying oh feather can do that if i just got to work out his weight and work out what he can do what's wise now like be in. but so yeah I was, I was a bit cautious really because i did that on hate last year i kind of sort of bit of an own goal even though i didn't do nowhere near as much power as i did on the actual um in my training ride when i did that ride but um yeah so i just decided to keep it a bit more under wraps really and um i i think it's pretty important to ride the climb before because you've got to know the line you're going to take you've got to know the surface so you've just got to understand that, um, yeah, you've got to, you've got to do, got to do your homework, I suppose, really. Um, yeah, so I did, yeah, I did a few recce's really just to, to know what it was all about. What was your pacing strategy? Because it seemed like you were pretty positive, like pretty on it. Like there was no crazy surge at the beginning. You were just like high six hundreds the whole way, more or less. Yeah, yeah. I don't like going out like a. I just see so many people in hill climbs just going like out like an absolute rocket and just thinking, well, you can do that, but you'll you'll blow up in within a minute. So, and then you'll just be going backwards at the end. So, you know, ultimately to win a hill climb, you've got to be putting in some serious power at the end, basically to win it. So, um, yeah, I think the pacing is absolutely key um, on these hill climbs, really. So, um, you, 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 it's like I always compare it to when you learn to drive you've got the biting point on the clutch and you've got to know where that biting point is when you're doing these efforts. And if you're able just to hold it on that biting point up until a certain point, and then you go, that is, that's how you, I think, ultimately you can be successful really. Um, so yeah, you've got to understand your physical capabilities and you've got to understand just, just, you know, it's still going to be a painful effort, but you've just got to hold it on the point where you're, where you're not tipping over really so um yeah it's a fine balance but it's it's something that i suppose yeah c c maybe comes with a bit of experience i've done it for a few years now um yeah it's, there's plenty of really good riders who could you know who, who do <laughs> do that too fast and i'm just thinking you know if you you maybe can try your effort a bit more you might <laughs> might be able to get a bit of a better result so um yeah yeah that, that's 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 my advice really um yeah for what it, for what it, for what it what it is really but yeah definitely it seems like some people just love going out way too hard um in terms of equipment i know you mentioned you went to wider bars um was there anything else that changed much this season or was it just the same as um, no just wider bars and that did make a big difference really because um this is you know as i said to you previously there's this, this massive drive on everything being air at the moment which is i think it's just a bit of a marketing spoof really <laughs> so um 
you've got to be you got to, there's an element you know, the most important element is feeling comfortable and and yeah on a short sharp climb like that your arms make and your chest is so is so you, you're, you're using it much more than you think really so you have to have good leverage on, on the bars really and if you're trying to run silly aero bars you, you're just not you're just you know, well this is my, this is me personally you know it would be a disadvantage really so um but you know it might be it might be different to someone else somebody who's good at you know um sitting in the saddle and churning away you know they that, that may be their preference so i suppose everyone everyone's their own but um uh yeah that's yeah be much more comfortable this year and other elements on the bike not really pretty similar oh actually no there is something different i so the previous two years 2018 2019 i've always always had a 28 sprocket on the back which is what i use this year but i changed the front ring so 2018 2019 i had a 44 tooth front ring um or single chain ring and this year i've gone down to 42 um which is much better in terms of chain line um i had this horrible noise last year on the steep climbs and it was just because i was running an awful chain line diagonally across so i think you know that's probably well, I'm guessing you're going to be losing watts if you're <laughs> if it's grinding yeah. away. So yeah, it's much better really to to drop a couple of couple of uh, teeth on that on that single chain ring. That's made a big difference. Do you know how much it weighed? Uh, what the, what the chain ring or the whole bike? The whole bike. The whole bike was about I think it's five point four, just over five point four. So pretty much bang on what it was in 2019. Yeah, that's 2018 amazing. I think. Yeah, 2018, I think, uh, it was 5.8. Um, and that was with all the standard components on the bike. And this is, this is, I suppose, the last couple of years is the first time where I've run kind of specific, more hill climb components on the bike, like really lightweight finishing carbon kit and fancy brakes and things like that, really. Yeah. Um, uh, so, um, yeah, it, yeah, it dropped, you know, putting all that on has dropped to almost half a kilogram, I suppose, since 2018. Yeah. And uh, what are your goals for next year? I assume more hill climbs. Um, are you tempted by anything? Yeah, no, yeah, no. no. I, um, I was going to do uh, this year, I was going to do a few longer sporties and I was going to do the Marmot and I was going to do a couple of competitions. And yeah, I was going to do a time trial and outdoors. Um, I did outdoors a couple of years ago and posted a good time. I thought it would be nice to do it in an official time trial. Um, but it all got not cancelled but it was just too difficult with restrictions and quarantine yeah. and stuff it would, it would have taken out half my hill plan season so besides not that on the head but i might i've sort of had my entry put back to next year so i yeah may, may do that early early season in the summer just as something to keep the legs taken over keep fit and um and then yeah just do another season of hill climbs try and do some different ones maybe not do yeah uh, sort of you know the first the first weekend for me has always been doing Dursley and then doing the Somerset Road Club and yeah for the last three years I've, I've managed to better my time each year but at some point inevitably I won't be able to better my time and and so it's just moving on and trying to do different ones it's quite hard just um and yeah to, to sort of beat your own time or there may be someone better who comes along kind of thing so it'd be nice to do um nice to do uh to do something different maybe maybe one up north I don't know and lastly before you go have you ever thought of doing the Everesting world record? I think you'd probably have a very good chance of getting it if you pick the right hill. I don't know. Yeah, but I, yeah, I did think about it doing this year, actually. And then I thought, no, no it's, it's, it's way too close to the hill climb season. And it's almost the opposite effort, effort to the hill climb season. Obviously, yeah, you've got to be, when you're doing an Everest effort, you've got to be retaining your energy and conserving your power kind of thing. So it's completely opposite. So I, I, I wouldn't do it. I, I did. I think I did. I did like maybe a quarter. It was bloody hard. I think it would be really difficult. And I, I don't know if I did that well, really, just because I haven't, you know, I'm not used to riding really long distances. Someone who's good at, you know, riding the long distances and used to doing lots of stage racing would probably be far, far better than I would be. I, I did, honestly don't know how to do it. Um, you know, you've got some really rapid times being posted. Yeah, my name is Pitya. I'm, um, I love cycling. I got into hill climbing last year. I did my first hill climb in August 2019. When I'm not cycling, I work in a school with children with special needs. And I'm also a mum of two, single mum of two. So quite busy, but I'm trying to fit in lots of cycling wherever I can just because I love it really. Yeah. I also do um, track cycling. 
So I had my first um, season on the track in Reading last, not last, uh, yeah, in, in 2019. So there was no track cycling this year. That's about it. All right. So how did you get involved in hill climbs? Because I think it was like relatively recently, wasn't it? Yes, yes, just um, last year. Um, or oh, just because a few people from my cycling club said um, I look quite fast up hills and I should try that out. I had never heard of hill climbs before. Um, I'm from Germany and um, I think hill climbs in general are very much a British thing. So I just didn't even know they existed. And then I yeah. signed up for one and enjoyed that and went for a few more races and then actually did the um, nationals up Hay Tour last year as well. All right. So was that your first proper year then last year in 2019? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so going into this year, was it a big focus hill climbs or was it sort of like an afterthought? Um, no. Um, so just after the nationals up Hay Tour last year, I think that's when we um, heard that the next nationals would be up Streetly Hill and I'm from Reading. So that's a hill that I know well. So I thought, oh, this is going to be a really good opportunity for me to do really well because it's it's my home hill. And um, so I was very much aware of it and started training for it. Yeah, not yeah, a few months ago, basically, and then was really disciplined the last three months focusing yeah. on, on hill climbs. Um, so which ones did you do? I think you've won a fair few and set quite a lot of course records as well. Um, yeah, I, I did um, the one up Night Hill in Goodwood. Um, the first one this season was um, Farn Farnham, Farnham Hill. Uh, no, no, what's it called? I've forgotten it now. Um, near Alton. Yeah. Um, that was a close one. I think um, Alice and Bexy came first and second, and the, we were all sort of really close together, just a few seconds. Um, then I did Newbury and the warm up event up Streetly. And I was in Bristol, but my time got messed up. So in the end, I got it, did not finish. That was a bit disappointing, but happens. I'm glad yeah. um, the nationals were chip timed. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm not sure what happened on that one. It was a, it was a big shame. Yeah. So I reckon you would have definitely done a pretty solid time. Um, so in terms yeah, of. Yeah, something went wrong, but it's, it doesn't matter now. It's, it's in the past. Yeah. Um, and then the I. Um, um, the last one I did before the nationals was. Um, Burke Hempstead Cycling Club up, Tom's Hill, that was a nice one. I was quite fast on that day. Yeah. Um, so what was your training specifically? Because obviously it seems like no power, just go full up climbs. Um, well, yeah, I, I don't have a power meter. So I literally just, I, I'm, I don't use sort of much my data very much apart from using my Garmin to find the route where I want to go. Yeah. Um, so I had a cycling holiday in Wales in August and went um, to the north of Wales with my panniers on the bike and cycled up some long and steep hills. Yeah. So just did that for, for a week. That's good training. And then I just go out for rides. And whenever there's a hill, I just go for it and do it as fast as I can. And I do that quite a lot. Fair enough. That yeah. sounds like a perfect strategy. Um, so yeah. in, terms the, in terms of the bike, I assume you had a pretty lightweight bike. Um, yes. Very, very nice um, Tifosimons stripped back to um, what I need for the climbing. And um, it weighs 5.6 kilograms now. Wow. That's pretty light. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, so on the day itself, like obviously you did the pre preview event. Did you like have a pacing strategy? Did you like ride it a lot before and figure out what you're going to do? Or was it just a case of it's a three minute climb um, and let's go? Well, I've, in the last three months or so, I've, I think I've been up Streetly Hill at least 20 times or so. Yeah. And um, so in my head, I think I've, I've sort of got it in three, the three bits to that hill to me. So the first bit um, is sort of quite flattish and you can use it to really pick up speed. Yeah. And then you hit the first bit where it gets deeper. The, and that's the middle section, which I find is the most difficult one because you sort of you haven't got the adrenaline from the very first bit when, when you just started and yeah. you feel the fatigue already a bit and it's getting a bit steep. So that's where you have to somehow, um, at that point, I think I was just telling myself, this is the nationals. I really just, this is my chance now. I need to just yeah. keep going. And, and then there's a tiny little bit where it gets a little bit flatter. So I go back into the saddle, literally just for a few seconds, take a deep breath. And, and that's like a little, tiny little rest before you then hit the last steep bit, which is my favorite because you know you're nearly there and you just open yeah. all the tabs and you don't need to worry about anything anymore. Um, 
And so these are the three bits to the hill in my head. And that's that's how how I cycle up there, basically. Yeah. Going into the day, did you think you were like favorite or like what did you because obviously like you won a fair few events and won the preview event. Were you a bit nervous or was it sort of like ah, it's another hill? I, I was I was really yeah, I was very, very, very nervous. Um, but um, my my race supporter from Panka Cycles, um, Ricky, he did a great job. Um, we did quite a few races together and he came along and um, so we had a bit of a plan. Like I knew exactly at what time, at what minute I want to drink my coffee or eat my banana yeah. or be on the rollers and do warm up on the road. So it was completely planned and that helps if you have a routine, you don't have to think about anything. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm basically, I also reminded myself that I'm doing all of this for fun and it's, it should be enjoyable and that's what it is about. So don't get too anxious about it and just relax yeah. and enjoy it. Um, so that was a good reminder just before the race. And, um, and then of course I just, my aim was to ride a personal best and I wanted to do a sub 250. I had done 254 in the warm up event yeah. a month before. And, um, and I thought that's just between me and the hill and that's fine. I don't need to worry about whether it's the nationals or not. I yeah. just try and do that. And yeah, and I did. <laughs> so that's yeah. cool. No, it was a crazy ride. Cause you put like three seconds into the, into Mary. It was, yeah. it was a, a yeah. massive ride. So um, what's your future goals for hill climbs, I guess? Just wear the national stripes as many yeah, races exactly. as next year? Yeah, well, I want to, I would love to do some of the iconic ones and travel a bit further, go up north and do some because I, um, and hopefully um, spectators will be back by then. Yeah. Because that would be really, really amazing. Would like to experience that because I've only done local ones so far. I think the one furthest away was probably the nationals last year in um, Devon. Yeah. So yes, um, I want to have a look where I want to go and and travel a bit and do lots of hill climb races next year. All right, perfect. All right, thanks so much for the interview. Um, I'm yeah. gonna.